Hello students, today we are going to see the video on the signals and systems of uh, for some engineering students. How to sketch multiplication of two given continuous time signals that is x of t into y of t minus 1. This is of the x of t given signal and this is y of t. The first step you need to do is we have the equation x of t into y of t minus 1. You need to find the value of t minus 1. As I already told in the earlier video, t minus 1 that means the right shift by one position t minus 1. So it will be like this. So minus 2 it will shift to minus 1. So amplitude is 1 only, only the time shifting will be there. So this is and this one is the minus 1 for the one position and next position it is gradually decreasing. Then again it is plus 1 in the next position 2 to 3. So that just we have shifted one time division here. This is y of t minus 1. Now you need to manipulate this signal and find out the product of these two signals. To find out this product of the signals, let us analyze the time values. First we will take the position that is minus 2. At the position minus 2, what are the values we are getting from x of t and y of t minus 1, not this one. Just you have to take this signal and this one x of t is 0 you can see here at minus 2 and x of y of t minus 1 is also 0 you can see here at minus 2 0 into 0 is 0 at minus 2 position so the answer is 0 coming to the next that is the minus 1 position so minus 1 position we have x of t as this one is x of t suppose this one is y of t minus 1 this is the result r of t suppose this one minus 1 position we have the minus 1 we have a 0 gradually it is changing from 0 to minus 1 but the time being here we have the 1 here you can see we have a 1 over here 0 and 1 which makes again it is 0 so the our signal is like this this is for the dark I will do it till here we get 0 only till minus 1 from minus 2 to minus 1 now coming to the next gradual change you can see here in the x of t signal it is gradually increasing suppose I'll divide it into some parts like minus 2 5 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 and 1 so this is minus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.75 and minus 1 gradually if you uh, cut it into the some parts so now what we will do I will just multiply with the y of t minus 1 which is constantly 1 from minus 1 to 0 position you can see so that means 0 0.25 into 1 into 1 into 1 into 1, into 1. that is the result the same thing you will get at these positions 0 0.25 0.5 minus 0.75 and minus 1 the same answer you are getting when you multiply it with 1 here therefore the signal will be same as the x of t you can see this is the x of t which we have divided into four sections for understanding so this will be like this it gradually it will increase to minus 1 at this position now coming to the next signal you can see over here there is a gradual increase again I can write it here also in x of t plus it will be plus 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 and 1 it is plus this is another thing okay now let us take this one is minus 1 you can see from 0 to 1 position from 0 to 1 position is gradually increasing in the case of x of t and where of y of t minus 1 it is constant so into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 which results again in the same thing which you have seen earlier case 0 0.25 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.75 and minus 1 the same way we will get over here also from 0 that is to 1 okay this is how you will get the graph here this is minus 1 till minus 1 you will get the next case over here from 1 to 2 we have constant 1 and in the case of here 
you have from minus 1 it is gradually decreasing that is minus 1 minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.25 to 0 last will be it will be constantly going to 0 finally it will be 0 okay you can see here it is gradually decreasing whereas this x of t is 1 only multiply by 1 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 minus 1 minus 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 finally it is 0 so this is the final you get so that means it is decreasing from minus 1 position to 0 position like this now coming to the final that is from 1 it is again decreasing to 0 1 0 0.75 0 0.5 this plus and 0 0.25 finally 0 now let us say in the case of phi of t minus 1 it is constantly 1 that is multiplied by 1 1 1 1 1 so what you are getting 1 0 0.75 0 0.5 0 0.25 finally 0 that means it is first it will go to 1 okay the signal will be 1 first 1 into 1 is 1 at position 2 we can see from the position 2 gradually it is reducing to 0 0.75 0 0.5 0 0.25 to 0 so this is how the waveform you are getting right this is the final product so if you have any type of problem please just ask comment me share my channel subscribe my channel and learn with me thank you